After a short three-hour drive and making our truck work through the up-and-down terrains of North Carolina, we finally made it to Ararat River, but not without a little bit of difficulty. Come to find out, this campground had a bridge in the middle of the RV park that we had to cross to get to our spot. As you can imagine, an 8 foot wide, 40 foot long RV is not the easiest thing to pull across a 10 foot wide bridge. After settling into our spot and starting to unpack the RV, little did we know there was a surprise awaiting us. Oh! What happened? We've got a mess to clean up. Where? I think my bottle of wine busted up in the top. Actually, it's vanilla. It's vanilla. How in the world did my vanilla bottle break? Here's the culprit. All right, well, that's my, uh, ah, oh, I see. Whoa. The wine survived. Literally just the vanilla. Our vanilla extract exploded in the upper cabinet. So, we get to deal with a beautiful waterfall stain of vanilla extract. Hopefully, I can get it out. If not, I'll be painting the wall. So, wish me luck. After settling in, we packed up some lunch for the girls and headed out to explore the grounds of the RV park. It's situated on the Ararat River and has a trail that follows the stream and dead ends at the Ararat River. This quickly became one of our favorite spots. There's two. There's another one. Ah. Give me your crab leg. <laughs> Here, take the snail. There's a bunch over here too. Right here. Oh. Get cargo for me. Get what for you? Cargo. Escargo? Here's your escargo. Escargo. So property we're staying at. Uh, is doing some construction over there, right there, and they're building a building for teenagers, like a game room, and they were lighting some brush, and the whole forest starts catching on fire. So now we have the fire department showing up to try to get the situation under control. No, we got oh, one. we got three. And we have one more. Three fire trucks, Hannah. Look at that. Yeah. All right, so come to find out this guy used a blowtorch in the cabin, the old cabin that was there to try and burn it down. And big trees decided to catch, of course, because it's winter and everything's dry. So it went up very quickly. Who needs help? Who needs help? 
Yeah, they got some heavy water going on it now, so we got some big plumes of smoke going up. Despite the difficult bridge, the fire, and the vanilla catastrophe, we still had a great first week in the area. If you like our content, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and be sure to share with your friends so they can enjoy along with you. Be sure to follow along next week when we link up with my cousin and her family while on spring break and tour an old historical tobacco farm. Until then, go explore!